Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing more Detroit Become Human. Let's see uh, quickly where we at. Connor made uh, another step towards becoming a deviant by choosing to spare an android over getting important information for the investigation. I think, yeah, he's getting closer and closer to becoming a deviant. And Marcus uh, keep on leading the guys of Jericho. He managed to send a powerful but peaceful message to humans last time. It was a really powerful scene. And Kara and Alice met Rose. Hopefully she would be able to help them go uh, over the bridge, if I understand that correctly. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's continue. November 9th. There's Marcus. Where are we? Enjoy some time alone? We can do that. The view is spectacular. Looks freezing, but wow. This is some view. Enjoy some time alone. Okay. Okay, I will do that. Start by reading a magazine. Detroit Today, Android Riot. That's interesting. Detroit neighborhoods vandalized by psychotic machines. That's not accurate at all. Not cool. Let's see what they say about us. Well, press will be press, huh? A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night. That was a peaceful message. I'm just saying. We chose the peaceful route. Uh, with cyber life stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunction in machines, which are, oh man, this is so misleading. It's upsetting. It's upsetting, huh? But to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. An eyewitness, who asked to remain anonymous, said I was personally attacked by the ringleader. He threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. Of course, the allegation remains unconfirmed. I wonder why. But we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of the ranged machine. This is so unfair. Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Start 4 Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. So I wonder if you choose to go violently, I chose to go pacifist, but if you choose to go violently, what would this one say? Because how worse can it get? <laughs> if that's what they say on us while well, I choose to go the pacifist, so... The Eastern Space Race. Only two countries have android industries that rival the United States, Russia and China, and they are locked in fierce competition to become the world's predominant Eastern economy, which continues to overtake the Western hemisphere by leaps and bounds. CyberLife's almost human model of android design complements America's service economy. Russia and China have also developed androids that reflect their national economies. After falling to emulate the blue blood model of a design, Russia's android manufacturers rely on more traditional constructions method. The resulting machines are less anthropic but capable of operating in cold and inhospitable conditions. China's androids use an alternative blue blood fluid with less unfront power generation but greater efficiency. The result are androids capable of operating for months without supervision or recharging in China's vast rural areas. Who is winning the new space race with everybody going in different directions? It's too soon to tell. It's like the future. There's no change in humanity's behavior. I'm not surprised. Let's see what else we got. Wanna chill on the chair? Cannot go down, alright? 
I want for C to go. Get out of here, you can play music? Yes! Heck yeah! I like that. What are we playing? I need to hold it? Ah, okay, I need to keep on pressing it. Oh, wow. Oh my god. That was cool. Very cool. Oh? He's just walking? I did not do that. North. Companion. I was wondering where you were. You heard a piano? I was thinking. I needed to think. I like it here. Yeah, it's not bad, huh? I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We've freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Guess it is. You seem preoccupied. Sincere. They count on me. They count on me to show them the way. <sighs> if only they knew how lost I am. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The I like her outfit, it's cool. They'll never give us our freedom. God, I'd be determined. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Carl. Truth or sincere? The truth. It's the I same thing, isn't it? Truth or sincere? He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. North's past? She will hate me for this. But I'm curious. What about you? You never Maybe told me she's not past. hating me for this. Before? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I understand. I understand. We all have something we want to forget. I saw on Connor's computer she was a, a sex are. android. Trust, I guess. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll Beth and a program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Connect? What's happening? That's their way of showing intimacy? I... I saw your memories. Oh! Lover? Oh, wow! Us. When they left you for dead in his studio. I have some comments about that, but... Too. Let's uh, see the scene first. The Eden Club. The death 
of that man. I felt like I was there with you. That's scary. North. I was about to say, once I saw Lover, I mean, uh, I have to say, I'm a bit conflicted. I think, you know, I won't ruin the party and I will go along with this storyline, but it feels to me through many sections of the game that North is a bit too ruthless to my taste. So, I don't know if it was a priority of me to get Marcus and North as lovers. But I'll go with it, I'll go with the story. Even though now we saw a very vulnerable side of North, she has been through a lot. And also I have to say, again, it's surprising me that androids are literally crying. So, of course they can be sad, obviously, because they have emotion, but the mechanism of shedding tears, that's something that deliberately was implanting them. Interesting. Hey, wait a minute, Simon? You're back? What? I'm so glad we did not shoot. I'm so glad. How are you doing? Heck yeah! I wonder why I did not hug him. <laughs> there it is. Oh man, this makes me happy. That was cool. Jericho, leader. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't know what are we doing. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. What are we doing? They'll <laughs> understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. And you seem confident. Rally your people. Convert more there androids. androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Just doing that in public? Ooh. That is intense. Androids in the ranks. Oh my god. Let's go for it, I guess. Wow. We are going for it now. There's one. How do I convert him? Ah, there you go. You're free. Welcome aboard. Prepare to march. Go to the street. I want to check thoroughly here. I don't want to miss androids. There's one. Convert. You're free. Androids, where are you? There's one at the entrance, but wait a minute. Yes, there's another one over here. Come with us. <laughs> it's uh, sometimes amusing how easy it is for him. Like in one second, come with us. All right, let's go. <laughs> They could be spying on us, yeah, she has a point, but... You're awake now. I don't want to miss androids, is that it? Looks like it, but... One more look, quick one. Androids in disguise, maybe? Well, if they're in disguise, they're probably already deviant, so... I think that's it. Can I walk into the stores or things like that? Probably not. Okay, the objective is go to the street. So I think we did what we could here. Oh man, that's so cool. Look at that. Retro sound. Those are the same movies we saw when we played with Marcus for the first time. Okay, so here you go to the street. Rally the troops. Black Road. Uh, 
Wait a minute. Got more androids here. You're free now. He's free now. Uh, you stay right here. Leave him alone. Convince. He's chosen to be free. You're free. There's no way it's going that easy. Something will happen. Something dramatic for sure. More. More. Got more. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Who's else? Come on. I'm on a roll. I think that's it for this area. Oh, wait a minute. There's another one. I need to block the street. And you're free. All right. So, what do we do now? Open manhole cover. Wait a minute. Uh, where is that manhole cover? What did, do they refer to? I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. Buttons, many buttons. There you go. Ah, Jericho members. Convert more androids. Hey, Kara. <laughs> You're free now. We don't need to touch anymore. <laughs> Use telepathy. Wait a minute. More. There's more. Gotta be. We are marching. Man, every scene. Look at that image. And the music, oh my god, every scene with Marcus, it is so epic! They are doubling down on epicness every time. Look at me go! Oops! Uh, oh no. The Detroit police is here. I am worried. Please don't start attacking us. Please don't start attacking us. Mm, I'm getting worried. This game got me paranoid. Ooh. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is so epic in so many ways Greg is not coming back I'm sorry he's free there's more should not miss anyone let's look around for more there's one Wow, there's That's more! Order. 
We got that Vince. You're not gonna shoot us all. Come on, stop it. Jesus fucking Christ! Just walk in. This batch is patrol 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. We are alive! Hundreds. Thousands. We the marching people. Yeah, they're marching down the street. If I know. I'm so impressed and I'm so worried. There it is. Come on. Please don't. Please don't shoot. That's an army. They're ready to attack. Please don't. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. No, no, no. Attack, that's not the way. Start a war. Yeah. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand their ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now before it's too late. This is your last chance. This oh my God. Stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. <sighs> We're not moving. I don't know if I can take this anymore. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. I'm doing this. I'll explain my decision soon. John? They come with us. Quick! They're coming! Um, I'm trying not to cry right now. Oh my god. I'm, I'm a bit of speechless, you probably can see. I'm just gathering my thoughts and my breath. <laughs> um, I'm just very, very sad. I chose to stand even though I knew some of us were going to die. So I should explain what I did. I think you deserve an explanation here. So we have three options. 
we could run away, we could stand our ground, or we could attack. I was tempted to just disperse, but the fight won't be powerful, and there is no way, if you are doing that, that androids will be free if you are dispersing. I was also tempted to attack at one point. I was tempted. It's not my way of approaching things, but I was tempted in, in, in a way. But attacking means starting a war officially, which means much more androids and many humans as well will die in the process. It means chaos. Maybe it will make the process of being free faster. It's possible, but by doing so, the, the price you pay, it's enormous. So I thought if I'm standing my, my ground, I'm probably going to lose some androids and it's breaking my heart to decide such a thing. I'm so conflicted, but it's the way to still work hard in terms of uh, trying to get the androids to be free. The fight for them to be free is still in progress, which is important. And it's the way to lose the least amount of androids' lives. Maybe what I'm explaining is not making a lot of sense. I'm not 100% sure that was the best approach. I hope I chose right. I'm trying hard. This game is getting me so conflicted. Wow. Wow. Percentages. We, we gotta see that. We gotta see that. Um, Jericho leader. Public opinion supportive. North is lover, which surprised me, as you saw. Wow. Um, that was something. I missed something on the roof. Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. Share memories, 82%. Simon survived in public enemy. Heck yeah. That made me so happy. Reunited in Jericho. In the mall. Okay. Convert personal Android. Security. We converted everyone we could. Convert personal Android. Be calm with owner. Oh. Cool. There's another way there. Convert AX400. You can do something else. Okay. March. Hex screens. Chant. Policeman blocks March. Ignore. Yeah. I decided, I wonder if I chose to stop there, I think it would, it would hurt the cause, but I wonder how it will go if you stop there. Reach Plaza, police block the march, 100% reach to this point. So even if you're stopping here, when policeman blocks the march, you eventually continue and 100% blocked by police. And this is uh, the most strong scene so far for Marcus at least, not in the entire game for Marcus, I think standing our ground, and I was super 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 conflicted but at the same time, 59% probably got to the same conclusion as me that this is the only way to continue the protest and the fight to be free without losing like huge amount of lives, you will lose lives of androids if you stand your ground we did lose lives, which was heartbreaking, but we could have lost much more if we would charge. Police fire unprovoked. We sacrificed self. 39%, guys. Police keep firing. John joined in spare parts and John sacrificed himself. So we got John to join us and this way Marcus survived because John gave his life to save Marcus. So if you don't get John right at that earlier mission, Marcus here would die if you go this route. It's amazing how much your decisions are playing a role in this game like I've never seen before. I'm so impressed. This game is something else. Connor! Talk to Amanda. Oh, she's gonna... She's gonna hang me. Yo, Amanda, are we cool? I don't think so. There she is. Am I fired? Or worse? What's this?
She's gonna erase my memory here. That's what's going on. She's gonna destroy me. Kill me. <laughs> okay. Time to face it. I'm in a lot of trouble. Here we go. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. That's not true. Kemsky. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Distrusted. I'm gonna be called. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. I had to play this one like this. This place. Kemsky designed this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Uh, Connor serious? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. We, we just need more time, I'm sure we Pink, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Wow. So I just want to say that during the conversation with Amanda, I chose a cold answer. It's not something I wanted to do. I thought I had to do this to get her support me to play the game because I feared that she will see how much a close I am to become deviant and she will do something. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to like show her something that I'm not really intent to do. My my ideal situation is if Connor somehow will prove through this investigation that the androids should be free and they are not into starting a war, at least not while I'm playing as Marcus. I'm always going pacifist, so... <clears throat> it's complicated. It is... It's making you so conflicted to play as Connor and as Marcus and Alice, and your heart is definitely with Marcus and Alice, but I really like Connor. I really like Connor, and I think you're close to push him over that limit to become a deviant, maybe... All right, Hank, what are you thinking? He's upset, obviously. Uh, explain? Fowler's right. Everybody's terrified their android will turn on him. We're on the brink of civil war. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, damn it. I did not so know what explain means. Life. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? Heck yeah! Man, I love what him. What if we're fighting against He's the man. just want to be free? Exactly! Regrets? No, 
What? I know we're on the right side. Well, humans created us. They're our masters. No. No machine. Oh my no God! Its creator. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place. That's not what I wanted to say. Oh my God! I did not trust anything. In her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy is a human emotion. Exactly. Oh my God! I kind of messed up. Troubled? I don't know why I did it. Prince. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. <laughs> any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Friend? Yeah, he'll say yes. Key to the basement is on my desk. <laughs> is the man? Get a move on. I can't stop him forever. Five minutes. Oh my god. Right to our car room. Where is it? There you go. It's in front of me. Thank god. Five minutes. Why five minutes? Stop it. Those time limits. Man, get a heart attack. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Connor. Not a good time. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? We don't need any plastic pricks around here. Bye. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. We'll talk later. Bye. What am I hearing? Oh, there you go. Use key. No time. Go, go, go. What am I looking for here, though? Password. Sumo, his kid. Hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose. His son or Sumo? Absurd. He'd never choose that. Uh, I need to think like Hank. Back in password. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh Obviously. my god. Of course. Somewhere. Do I want to find it? I don't want to ruin Not much uh, the efforts of the androids of Jericho. Uh, no, no, no. What am I doing? I don't know if I want to find it. Okay, uh, we gotta find it because I don't want him to get destroyed. After we we'll find it, we'll see how we can solve it peacefully, maybe. Huh. Shit. Oh no. I think I did not check all the details there because I went straight for the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I can? What? What am I doing here? I don't understand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. This one is 3983. This one needs... 3983. What you got for me? The deviant who took a child hostage. Daniel. 4717. 4717. 3983. You got 3983. Give me that. That's a start. You needed 3983, right? Yes. Okay. It 
it's dark. Where? Where am I? Help. I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Damn it! Now leave me alone! Try to trick him. Can I go again? I think I know what I need to do. Maybe this one? Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Damn it! Description key. Ah, uh, Marcus. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have no time. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together. We can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Does it help me somehow? Simple voice, yes! We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. That's an awesome trick. Let's try to talk to him again. Is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. <laughs> His special expression even looked like Marcus. Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Please. I just don't want Connor to be destroyed, that's all. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Oh no. I messed it up. Don't leave me, Marcus. Oh, okay, I did it. <sighs> I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the Deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. Quick, every event, let's go! Oh! Oh, I already failed! Damn it! Let's go! Oh, no, you won't. Yeah, let's check it off. What happened here? What happened to your nose? <laughs> around. Okay, look, like you got Did some hair cover you. Now! We did it. Whoa, the flowchart, though. The flowchart. What the freak? What the freak? Okay, I think, after all, it was a successful mission, even though it was a difficult one. So look at that, Amanda is distrusted. I was trying to be colder than usual to play the role, so she will give me more time. But she's still distrusted. I was not able to do it all the way. Um, look at Magic Stone. Could have looked at something else. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we got. Jericho's location unknown. Oh, you can find it earlier in the game. Sufficient evidence. Hank goes to his desk. Perkins arrives. Hank wants to help. Hank punches Perkins. Oh, I missed it. So I'm seeing him with a bloody nose. I did not see the punch. God damn it. I did not look aside because I was so 
nervous and I rushed it because of the time limit. And then create diversion 94%. Ignore Gavin 45. Gavin is suspicious. Well, what can you do? Go down the basement in the evidence room 94. So the more clues you get, the more options you have to solve this. But killed in public enemy. Starford Android's body. Reactivate uh, the Deviant. Interrogate the Deviant. Trick him. Download Jericho's key. So we did locate Jericho after all. So that's why it's a uh, mission accomplished. Now again, I did that hoping that Connor won't be destroyed. That's my goal here. But at the same time, once we find Jericho, I want Connor to leave them alone. This is so conflicting. But look at that flowchart. So many clues I could have found. I missed a lot. It's a miracle that I found Jericho in this section. Look how many things I missed. Oh boy. Okay, we'll play one more section before we'll call it an episode. So now we're Alice. Uh, we are Kara, sorry, with Alice. Luther close. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Oh my god, it's getting worse. On edge after what happened yesterday. It's getting worse. I'm trying to do it peacefully, right. but it's not easy. We're almost there. Oh, look at them. Okay. Uh, through most of the game, I thought that Kara will head to Jericho with Alice. So, I don't know, we are still heading to Canada, that's the plan. Can I talk to someone? I guess we're just... Oh! Jesse, what else you got? With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals all androids are, closing, are turning into the authorities. Blackouts and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Yeah, I guess he's right. So, okay. Find Jericho. Oh, so we are going to Jericho. We are going to Jericho, guys. So, okay. So, Marcus is leading Jericho. Kara is looking for shelter in Jericho. And Connor is also on his way to Jericho. All the stories are about to sort of collide. <laughs> it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Let me explore before we'll talk to Rose and everyone. Wow, the snow. Looking cool. Okay, let's talk to Rose. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Got it. It's not much. Oh, man. Start. We owe you, Rose. Like, seriously. Giving you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Man, how can we thank Rose for this? She's awesome. Seriously. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them.
Come on, girls. Better not hang around. All right. We have a bus to catch. So now, set farewell to Rose and locate Jericho. Man, Rose is a hero. Oh, that's it? That was a short section with Kara. Check symbol. Ah, we're going the same route. As we went with uh, Marcus the first time he found Jericho. Interesting the back and forth. Okay, what's going on? That's a huge ship. Am I missing things by not exploring enough? I don't know. Looks empty in here, but... Okay. I just go. Wow. Dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances. Oh my god. Destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable. So many in here. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The yeah. yeah. Find a warm place for Alice. They're conducting raids across the city. We are already in Jericho. That was so fast. No, they're only machines, but they they look like just people. The public people supports us. Free. Following the Android crisis, public supports us, guys. Military androids. There's another car. They've been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian. Um, army. there's a warm spot. How about this one? How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Actually, that makes sense. She's still running a fever? Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. What? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. What about Alice? Oh my god! Connor is here as well! Oh my god! Don't catch anyone's attention. Okay. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, everything is coming together. Without the courage and the determination of the police, Kara Connor, don't don't interrupt. Don't do anything to Kara, please. Oh man, I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do here. My first priority is that Kara and Alice would survive this journey. I also don't want Connor to be destroyed. I want Marcus to succeed. This game. This game. It's been a while since I was so conflicted. Android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids won't do any harm. The cops just What is this? It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines. Cool jacket, man. They look like just People, people who want to be free. Following the Android oh. crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way. 
Okay, let's keep on looking around, I guess. Not sure exactly what I need to do, what's my goal here. I guess the goal is to talk to Marcus, right? It said, find the leader. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Become deviant, Connor. That's your chance. I forgot, what am I doing with Kara? <laughs> also, we're looking for Marcus. Who are you calling defective? She's insulting. Jeez, the press. They really annoy me. I think I found Marcus. Found ya. They meet for the first time. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Oh my god. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Marcus, you're the man. You but... said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. She Why doesn't. Are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Exactly. Not complicated. The androids weren't doing any harm. Man, this the game. The emotions. It is insane. It did say something smart though. Maybe right in here it's the better option at this point. Sending androids to camps. Oh, man. Alice. Wait, what? I cannot believe this! Come back here! Goodbye. You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. Yeah, actually it's changing nothing when I think about it. What difference does it make? Exactly. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? What he said. Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are. To become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. That's so nice. <laughs> we need to go and hug Alice right now. Oh my god! <laughs> we need to go and give her a hug. <laughs> Is 
Is there something wrong? Exactly, a hug, yes! That's what I wanted! <laughs> we'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Of course! Yes. Forever. Mm, emotional a little bit. Just a little bit. That's... It was one of my favorite scenes so far in the game. Realizing she's an android and loving her just as much, you know? That's powerful. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Really? That's your solution? All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Oof. Exactly. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We gotta choose dialogue. It's risky. It did not prove itself before. But we can't give up on that. Dialogue. Is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Ah, I hope I can. Looking good, North. Thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. That's Today, nice. a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. What? He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. We can't lose this war, Marcus. No. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Oh, wait a minute. If she will have this, do I trust it with her? Oh, maybe I made a big mistake. Maybe I need to Whatever take it tomorrow. in order. Oh, I just want you to know that. Oh, no. She's ruthless. She I'm might use it. Ah, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong.
Yeah, I won't ruin the party, even though, as I said, she's a bit ruthless for my taste, but yeah. I won't ruin that party. So, again, I'm uh, leaving the detonator with her. Oh, I'm so worried. Should have kept it just to make sure she won't use it. Choices, man! The choices. I trust her. She won't use it. I trust her. Come on. She won't. Right? We can trust her. We're back already? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. It? It's a him. Just saying. Whoa! Whoa! Not fair! I've been ordered to take you alive. Oh no, don't do this to me, game. Come on. Ah! But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason. What are you doing? That's a great opportunity to you make Connor a deviant. You can't betray your own people. Instructions? You're coming with me. Appeal? We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Convince? You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Come on, become deviant! Say nothing. Question? Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of. You're reason. getting there, I think. Come on, come on, come on. That's that's not mess it up. For you to ask yourself that question. Rally. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Become a deviant! What? Don't stop Marcus! Or maybe we are breaking the stop Marcus instruction. That's what we're doing. Yeah, okay, okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm paranoid. My bad. We did it! Ah, we don't care about Amanda. Connor is one of us! Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Welcome on board, Connor. Welcome on board. That we do. That we do. Come on, go, go, go! Like rats in a maze. Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. See. Okay, I see. This way. The Left. Come in, quick. Thank you, Luther. You're the best. 
To the right! No! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Uh. Simon and Josh? What about them? Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Message? There are exits on the second and third floor. Oh, cool, Find cool. them and jump in the river. All right. Helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. So what am I doing now? Uh, okay, I need to get to the bomb and blow up Jericho. Got it. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. You're shot. This is the end of Jericho. But not of our people. Come on. Come on. We did not fight for nothing. Come on. Get up. Get up. Run! Gotta go! We gotta go! Okay. It's too late, Captain! Save yourself! Save us! Come on! I'm going for saving them both. I hope I'm not an idiot. You can save them both. It's so tempting to choose protect Alice because she's the most important thing here, but... Don't move. You, shouldn't you can save them both. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. We're leaving it. Oh, where? Left. Hide! Where? so selfish what have I done what have I done it was maybe nervous you have to go I'm sorry Alice that was wrong mm, I was nervous damn it Left, left, left. No! Please don't kill us! Come on, get out of here! Curtis! We haven't done anything wrong! Please! Shut up! Put your hands on your hands! That's it. That's it. You cannot be selfish, it's not okay. Oh no! I messed up! Marcus, you saved us. Go now! Hurry! So upset about not opening the door earlier. Feels so bad. Gamma squad out. Tango. 
jump. Climb. Damn it! A shot! That's it. Quick, this way. Find north. I'll join you later. Over there. Oh, yeah. We're safe, Alice. Go, 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 go. Play dead. Get down. I think if I'm defending Alice, I can save them both if I want to move, right? What have I done? She's moving! No! No! Come on! Let's get out of here! My heart! I cannot take this! Damn it. I'm nervous. There you go, come on. Jeez. Yes. Okay, we still have that. This is too intense. Just too intense. North! Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Here you go. Go, 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 go! Oh, shit! It's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. I did not... Leave you, I won't leave her. North. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. Come on. I chose I chose to save her. I was not able to. So you can't save her? Or I did they something wrong. An explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. My heart is broken. My heart is broken. Oh, there's a lot to talk about in this chapter, guys. There's a lot. That was a huge, huge chapter. Like, seriously, what was going on? Oh, because we see the three paths. All the three paths. Okay. Okay, we'll go over everything. So, here's what's going on now. Um, I think we had some... I'm still recovering emotionally. I think we had some wins. 
and we definitely had some fails. I think all in all, we had more wins than fails, but every fail was a serious punch to the gut. I chose to save North. You could run or you could save North, but it was not enough. So two options, either she dies no matter what, or either I should have pressed it earlier. Maybe I stalled too much. I don't think so. I think you can save her. Maybe I should have done something earlier in the game. Take the detonator, but no, it does, does not have to do with her dying there. I don't know, maybe there was something I could have done earlier, or maybe it's inevitable sh that she would die here. Also, another punch that I got was Luther. Losing Luther even hurts more, and I think there again, I don't know if I could have done something differently. I chose to pick him up and take him with us, but then again, he also died right there. So I'm guessing. I'm not sure, but maybe you cannot save North or Luther. So those are big fails, but maybe I could have done nothing about it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Another fail, and that's on me, and I feel terrible about it, was locking the door, protecting Alice, and then someone knocking on the door, please help me. I chose not to open the door. I chose not to open the door, and I'm so sorry about that. It feels so selfish. What I was thinking is Alice is what matters the most at this point. But but yeah, I think just like with Luther, we could help as we helped him and still saved Alice. We could have done that as well. Open the door and still save Alice. So I feel terrible about it. I regret it. I regret it. And then at the end, by the way, that scene when you play dead. So you can protect Alice or try to stay without moving. That's what I chose, to not move. I thought this way I'm saving Kara and Alice, but it was such a risk. If I moved, they definitely would shoot Kara. But here's what I'm thinking. If I move to, to protect Alice, not only they're shooting Kara, they also figure out there's a reason why we're protecting her and then they'll shoot Alice as well. So that's why I chose not to protect Alice at this point. So. Uh, thankfully, that was a win because it worked and we did survive. And another big win is finally making Connor a deviant. He's one of us. Amanda hates us. Well, I'm okay with it. I just hope uh, she won't get her hands on Connor because she will destroy him. So it's a dangerous game we're playing, but I'm definitely happy that Connor is a deviant. It's about time. It was necessary at this point <laughs> that he became a deviant. So yeah, a lot of emotions, a lot of uh, good things, but some mistakes and sad moments, and I do have some regrets, not opening the door, but yeah, uh, yeah, that was, that was incredible. And of course, we have to address the fact that androids now are being slaughtered, and it is so sad, and it is, it's terrible. To think of humanity is doing such a thing because history shows showed us that those things did happen so it's uh it's terrible to witness even if it's a game you know that being said let's go over some uh decisions and percentages i'm curious to see how i stand you know comparing to other people so a uh, captain's cabin 96 percent console with simon Josh and North, 59, discuss with North, kiss North, North leaves Marcus alone, 95, Connor watches North leave, wait a minute, ah, okay, there's an option that Connor is not there, I'm guessing, okay, so Jericho is under attack, in the corridor with Marcus, 92%, there's a whole different route, I don't know what it is, interesting, so we are meeting with a team, trying to escape, meet Lucy. Yeah, we did that. There are other things I could have saved other people. What is that? I don't know. A bridge breaks under Marcus. Marcus in the corridor. Sneak around soldiers. So, okay. Soldiers threaten androids. Intervene. 75%. The majority. That's cool. Deal with soldiers, 75. Androids escape, 75. Progress to the next corridor. Soldiers come in Marcus' way. 
1% timeout? What is that? Marcus wounded. Oh. Only 1% got Marcus wounded. Oh, that's a huge fail. Because apparently it's easy to avoid and still I got it. Ouch. Enter well, enter well. 92. Androids are shot. 36. You can prevent that? Oh my god. Androids are chased by soldiers. Oh, I could help those androids? I just ran away. Oh, I did not even notice. Oh, damn it, man. That's why I saw at some point Jericho going down because I did not help them. I did not even see that. It was dark and I was nervous and I missed it. Damn. Again, intervene. Neutralize soldiers. 89. Josh escapes. Okay. In the hold with Marcus. So how could I save uh, North here? Enter old engine control room. Soldiers interrupt. Neutralize them. We did that. Trigger the countdown 89. And corridor with Marcus. So try to escape. North is shot. So there's, a, there's an option for her not to get shot. Over here. I don't know how. I don't know how. There's an option that she won't get shot. She can be saved. That's upsetting. Run away? I chose save north. Why run away option? So, I had an option to save her. I chose to save her and it did nothing. I guess maybe you can't, but apparently the game treated it as if I chose to run away. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened here. Okay, Marcus jumps. Marcus fled with his people, 89%. And yeah, North is not with us. Even though I chose to go back and save her. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to check the recording after completing this session. I'm pretty positive that I pressed to save North. There was an option save North or run. I chose save North. What? What? Spot explosive, 70%. Oh, look how many things I missed. Stopped by Lucy. Black in, back in captain's cabin. Oh, sorry, we are Connor. Sorry, our Connor. Threaten Marcus, 92. Become deviant, 78. Oh, 22 did not become deviant. Warren Marcus. Jericho is under attack. And whoa. Wow, what is this flowchart? How many things that I miss? Connor joins the others, and Connor escaped with Jericho's people, 74. I like that. And Marcus Armel driving to Jericho. And now Alice driving to Jericho. Look outside. So here I did a big mistake. I want to see the percentages. How many chose to open the door? Because if I would go back, I totally opened the door. It was a nervous decision, and I regret it. For that uh, android that asked for help. 93% hug Alice. You gotta. You gotta do that. Alice in the corridor. Let's see. Luther opens the door. Go through the door. Luther is shot. This is interesting now. Um, you can avoid Luther being shot, by the way. Yeah, there's another route here, I wonder. Hmm. Help Luther. 70% helps Luther. Yeah. Get Luther to safety. Uh, Luther hidden. And round towards exit. Soldiers block the way. Hide. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so happy that only the minority chose this option. And I'm ashamed that I'm in that minority. But yeah, you definitely should open the door and help that android. I don't know what happened to me. Nervous. Made mistake. Apologies. I apologize about that. Soldier shot the android and move on. I feel terrible about that. Terrible. Kara flees. Try to escape. Almost reach the bridge. 88. And then soldier shoot 
the crowd, 88%. Now here, play dead, uh, 56% chose to play dead. Interesting. Interesting. Soldiers close in, remain still, 61%. But all in all, I'm glad about the results. Kara and Alice escaped Jericho. That's a success, but with an asterisk of me being ashamed of not opening the door for that android. Yeah, sorry about that. So, so many things happened, and that was an incredible chapter. Incredible chapter. What awaits us next? I don't know, but it will be interesting. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. You're one of us. You can't betray your own people.